Uh, no, don't kill my Bong Choy. Don't do that. Okay, he's very special. A specialist. He's a specialist. He's a doctor. Hey guys, welcome back to Plants vs. Zombies 2. Today, we're gonna continue with the Neon Mixtape Tour. I really enjoyed the first half of this and I can only imagine the second half is gonna be even better because this is where we get the garlic. Now, I don't know about you guys, but coming from PVZ, I've really missed the garlic. So I'm happy that I'm finally gonna get it. It's a really useful plant in PVZ1. I don't know how it's gonna be in PVZ2, so I guess we'll find out. Before we start level 17, I just have a couple of comments I wanna read. First of all, Hey Matt Che, with the Magnet Shroom, you can actually pull off the heads of the rock zombies that kick your plants because they have piercings on their heads. Okay, I did not think of that, thank you. Also, I cannot humanly express how much I love this channel. This comment kind of took me by surprise, guys. That is a very, very nice thing to say, especially to a guy who sits in front of a camera and plays video game. So thank you to Street Sweater for saying that and thank you to the several people who replied and said same as well. You guys, you're the best. All right, here we go. Level 17, I got a new strat, guys. It's called Magnet Shroom. Okay, no one's going kicking my plants around today. Mmm, Penny, do you smell something scrum dishes? No, user Dave, only breakdancer zombies. Maybe they're garlic flavored. Are you giving me a garlic? Is this where I get a garlic? No. It's okay, I don't, I don't need it or anything. I've got a meteor flower, guys. You know I love my meteor flower. It's a level three, and it can hit whatever. You know, if there's a thing on the on the board, it'll hit it, so it's kind of nice. One ought to do the trick for now. I'm gonna yoink that, thank you very much, so we can kill your friend as well. No, it's a break dancer, guys. I don't even know what that guy's gonna do to my, uh, my plants if it gets close enough. Let's just not let it get close enough, okay? Who, who wants a little bit of this? Yeah, I know you did. Did you just spin around, by the way? Oh, because you're a break dancer. I get it. I don't like it, though. I'm kind of glad that I'm using these things right now, if I'm honest. Can you guys, like, uh, maybe just, just chill? Can you chill just a time? Oh, God. Oh, oh, dear. Don't touch that mower. Oh my god, I can't believe you touched the mower, dude. All you had to do is not touch the mower. Okay, everybody gets a mower then. Fine, see if I care. I thought this was a great strategy. Apparently it's not such a great strategy. I was going too easy on them, uh, them zombies, guys. I guess I, I guess I thought I could do it all myself. So sad. Here, can I have that? Thank you. It might help. It helped. All right, well, this is a short level anyway, guys, which is nice. I'm gonna go ahead and give a little bit of that to these guys so they can take out most of the dudes. Let's get this here going on, maybe. You guys feel like you're moving a little too fast here. Probably just because I'm sped up. <laughs> One guy. Boom. And there it is, guys! Oh my god, the garlic! It costs 50 sun. And it's gonna be fun. There you go, diverse zombies in other lanes. It sounds very similar to how it acts in PvZ1. I know some zombies ain't gonna ain't gonna, like, let that fly, you know? They're gonna be like, oh, you want me to eat you? No, I think I'll kick you, or some other weird thing that a zombie can do in the Neon Mixtape Tour. Oh, wow, and they want me, they want me to have, oh, wait a minute. I can upgrade this thing. Oh, well. One, one second faster on the recharge. Let's get a couple of these. Okay, yeah, I know, crazy, but we're gonna do it. No, I want you in the other lane. Can you go in the other lane, please? It's just easier this way, okay? Okay, they eating it, and... Oh my god, they don't like the taste! And now you... Oh, spontaneous fooding, guys. Spontaneous fooding. They killing my garlics? Really? What a, what's a boy supposed to do about that? Blow people up, probably. You better not. Oh no, that didn't even work. Great. Now I... Wait, it's all over, guys. It's all over. We need some more garlics now, of course, but if we could just get some more garlics, we'd get some people into these lanes, you know? Oh god, the break dancers are back. They're gonna give me trouble. Maybe. Maybe not. Just need to save up a little bit more money, man. Come on. Come on, just a little bit more money. Just, 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 just a little bit more money. Just a little bit more money. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, he's swinging. Oh, jeez, Louise. Oh, wow. You can go to hell. Can a zombie go to hell? It's already, like, undead. Oh, dear. Okay. No, that was fine. Uh, it kicked my garlic, which was a little bit rude. But we're we're okay. We're okay. I might do a little explosion here just to save me a little trouble. Okay. 
Cool, cool, cool. So this lady, she ain't gonna stop the garlic, even though the garlic is in the wrong place right now. But there you go. There's the... And he broke it. I don't know. See, bonk choice. Bonk choice are just so strong. I don't, do I need anything else? Should I just be spamming the box i know the, the the game is starting to get a little harder and i i can tell because i'm having some difficulty sometimes you know i i want to do certain things i'm like wait a minute that ain't gonna work i'll tell you what will work if i can get a little more money and do this and this and this that should take out like everybody assuming you guys get close enough the other one didn't but that's okay you wanna no it's cool it's cool someone will kill you right Rest in peace, my dude. That didn't seem like a good level at all to use garlics in, hello! I thought we was getting some, like, good opportunities here, but no. At least now we're in one of these levels where we just literally put down whatever they give us and we hope it works. We can put a fat beat, um, we can put a fat beat down behind a garlic and anything that goes around it will get hurt. This is a good time to have some garlics going. So guys, somebody said in the comments of the last episode that the fat beat is basically this game's version of the gloom shroom, which is cool because gloom shroom is something that I really miss and is definitely not in PVZ2 in any way. Now there's a wave of zombies coming. It doesn't matter, okay? That's the beauty of these, uh, these conveyor belt levels. They just don't matter, okay? Did you just do that to a garg- oh my. Yeah, you wasn't taking taking no crap from those gargantuars. Come on in here. Come have a good time. Yeah, okay, okay. We can put a garlic up there. Uh, garlic does come back kind of slow, but let's just, I don't know, blow this one up. We do have to worry about the lady in the front. She needs to die in order for things to be able to eat garlic, which is what I had that bonk choy for earlier, so I should have maybe kept the bonk choy situation. Well, in that case, I gotta put down more repeaters on the top and bottom. That would have that would have actually supported the garlics quite well. Best strategy seems to be kill everything, guys. Kill everything. And the kill everything strategy has worked swimmingly. Oh, a mic. What is this? Is this the endless mode for this world? Could it be? Penny. Penny. Oh, I see what you're doing there. I think what you mean is Penny. 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 A microphone. Karaoke time! At last, my tangerine dreams will come true! Caution user Dave, this dropped mic promises a band battle of heavy pedal proportions. Greatest hits! Okay, survival of author level of escalating zombie attacks. It's an endless mode. Wow, we. The greatest hits. No thank you. I'll just take my level 21. Oh man, it's a flower trample level guys i don't like flower trample levels but that being said doesn't look like we have too many crazy zombies here okay lady get out of here worst case scenario you knock that back but i don't think you will i don't think you can uh and then we need basic well no we can just do this for now it's cool it's cool but we do need to get some stuff in here okay because that guy is is really rolling up uh here I wish we had some plant food, but we don't get our plant food until this lady down here dies. So lady, can you hurry up and die, please? Thank you. And go. That was close. They're trampling, but they're, they don't got a head, so that's fine. Okay, it's okay to trample if you don't got a head. Now I need to blow this guy up so he doesn't stop me from surviving. Good, good, good. Uh, as for the gargantua, I don't really know, man. I think I'll just stall him a little bit for now. Can I? I shouldn't have done that. That was a great way for me to lose my boy. Maybe I should have brought my time warp, guys. Maybe that would have been smart, because he's going to trample on my stuff now and kill me. No, dude, don't. Uh, okay, fine, do it. I think ba Bonk Choi's are honest. Honestly, guys, I think Bonk Choi's might be just the strat here, okay? It, it seems to be much more efficient at the killing process. Doesn't really get caught up in this whole being kicked thing because of the fact that uh, it kills so fast. And now there's a gargantua. We can kind of like blow it up. Oh, we can definitely blow it up. A huge wave of zombies. Oh no. How big is that wave of zombies? Final size wave. I'm just going to kill the gargantua with my mower. <laughs> Heck it, dude. Let's just move on. Okay. Okay, whatever. You can go down. Ta da. Oh. Another new plant for me to not be able to properly use. I mean, this one is 
This one could be good. Spore shrooms have a unique ability, user Dave. If they defeat a zombie, a new spore shroom will spawn where that zombie fell. Hey, Wazoo! Spore shrooms mean more shrooms. Yes, they do, user Dave. And that's all we get. That's all we get, y'all. Maybe. We're gonna, probably gonna get more stuff than. Oh, God. What is happening? What? Oh, no. What is that? The heck is happening? They're, they brought the nerds, guys. They brought nerds with them. Dude, what the? No. Mow it. I don't care. Just mow it. I do not want to lose all this stuff. Uh, th this isn't cool. There's a lot of zombies over here, guys. What the heck? You're gonna hit my thing. I, w I didn't have very many things here. Should I have been easier on the zombies so that I could have recruited the, uh, the little spores back farther? I'm not really sure, honestly. Uh, a huge wave. I have to protect two lanes without mowers. So, okay. Well, I guess I could blow them up. There we go. I think that'll help. Depends on if this guy dies. If he does die, he'll give me some stuff. You have some stuff, bro? Give me a little bit of stuff, my dude. Come on, just die, you big idiot. Thank you. Uh, here. We need it here. And stop. Go away. They gave me they gave me some uh, some cherry bombs towards the end. Okay. And those well-timed cherry bombs did did good work. This was very sloppy. I will admit, but we didn't lose. You know, guys, I actually played pinball with a guy that kind of looks like this super tall nerd over here. His name is Robert Gagno, and he's actually one of like the world's best pinball players. He's this autistic guy, and they made a movie about him in 2016 called Wizard Mode. So check that out. Just so you know, I once beat Robert Gagno in a round of pinball. So now I'm the pinball master. Okay, I, I think the bong choy needs to help out with this, guys. But if we're lucky, the bong choy won't land the final blow, okay? Oh well, whatever. He can do it if he wants. Uh, no, don't kill my bong choy. Don't do that. Okay, he's very special. The specialist. He's a specialist. He's a doctor. What do you know? All I gotta do now is not... I, I don't have to do anything! Yay! I could actually finish the level, but I don't want to. I don't think I need anything besides these two plants, but here, throw in some other plants that I won't use while you're at it. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, one, two, three, four, five? I don't know. Why not? Have at it. Get over here. Oh, dear. Actually, it doesn't matter at all. <laughs> Why am I saying, oh, dear? So if they do end up getting close, which they're probably not going to do too much, we will bonk them to death. And if... If they manage to get close enough to blow up, they'll blow up. Oh, it blew up. Come on, you can't be doing that. And now we can't lose. Wow. I love not being able to lose, guys. It's almost as good as being able to win. Oh no, what? D hey! The heck are you doing? Dude, this guy's sending the little shockwave things, man. Okay, one of you is gonna get the mower, and the other one is getting bonk choy. There. What the heck? I didn't realize that was even a thing, man. So that that guitar creates a shock wave. I am gonna show them no mercy this time, guys. No mercy. Okay, let's do this. Pew 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 pew. Get rid of a couple dudes here. Okay, I'm starting to get a lot of money now because I've obviously been putting down a lot of sunflowers. I'm gonna start doubling up on these guys in the back. And if I do that, I'll also try and replace the sunflowers in the front with new ones. Also, you guys want to blow up? I know you do. Boom. Final wave already? Come on, I just got here. What's your problem, man? Here, um, oopsie. <laughs> that was really easy. That was a really easy level. Say, Penny. Do you think intensive carrots can be used to revive defeated plants? I want to say no. That's that's exactly correct, user Dave. Sorry, the reason I said no, I was going to say no in terms of these um, endangered plants. I don't think you can revive an endangered plant, can you? Anyway. Sorry, it just confuses me when you pay attention. <laughs> yeah, it confuses me too. I thought for sure he must have been wrong. Um, we're going to do a lot of stuff here. Like, I don't know how this level is going to work. 
Um, let's try something like this. Okay, so we're gonna just put a ton of sunflowers in the back. We'll put our bok choys behind these guys so they don't hopefully, hopefully they don't get eaten, you know. You guys are gonna come in here and kick them back right away if I let you, which I didn't. Okay, restart, new strategy. We let them do that for a while and then we blow them up. Because we have our grape shot, we should be able to kill things above and below. So I think this should work pretty well. All right, get in here, ladies. Let's go. And I'll let the bong choy worry about that guy. Shouldn't be an issue. Okay, so we're waiting. Oh my, what was? Oh, because they were still killing, right, gotcha. Oh man, did you really? Okay, so now we can change our strat. I, uh, let's put one of these here, because that's always fun. I'm really digging the setup though with you know, them coming and kicking the plants. I was not expecting that, and obviously it's a pretty nice way to do things. Thank you. Just gotta not lose our uh, our special guys, and it doesn't look like we will because the gargantua is in the middle. So I'm just gonna blow it up. All right. Wow, we did it. This is crazy. And now we have the intensive carrot, which I already have anyway. I got him ages ago. I think we did pretty good. I could go all the way to the end, but some of these levels did take me a while and I, I should probably just pace myself a little bit. If you like me playing through the main storyline in this game and you wanna see some more of that real soon, please hit the like button. I would love to keep this series a little more consistent. I wanna to get to the end. I wanna I want to play all the difficult levels in the adventure mode and then move on to the other stuff as well. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. And if you wanna check out another one of my videos, ta-da! Here's one. Click it.